Ezekiel 28, verse 11. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, that's it. That has been given to Ezekiel, Daniel, and Jesus. Take up a lamentation, woe, sorrow, of the king, now the king of Tyre. Alright? The king of Tyre. We did the prince of Tyre. And say unto him, So, and we've been looking at Satan. And that's our, been our study. And say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, Thou sealest up the sum, addition, full, full of wisdom. And we read that last night. We read of wisdom and understanding, but we did not read of knowledge. Solomon had two or three, and I forget which one it was. There's knowledge, wisdom, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. And perfect and beauty. So that's what all the world looks for. The beauty pageant. The, the, the magazine covers. We're looking for the beauty. And Proverbs says, Beauty is vain, but the woman that fears the Lord, she shall be praised. Beauty can go so far, and people spend fortunes to have their bodies reformed, reshaped. And you can have a naturally born, beautiful person and get in a car accident, fall in the flames of a fire. All right, now here we go. <clears> that <throat> is going to be a big study. Thou has been in Eden, the garden of God. Eden. And then it says garden of God. So it, it tells us what the Eden is. So go back to Genesis chapter 3. And we're going to run down the character. And I'm going to trust you to read Genesis 3 and 10, 2 if you want. But Genesis 3 verse 1, there's a serpent. Okay. Verse 4, there's the woman we know is Later on, her name becomes Eve. In verse 6 is her husband. We know it's Adam. Verse 8 is the Lord God. And Adam and his wife hid themselves. All right, for 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 24. There is no king. A tyrant. And if you remember correctly, in Matthew 16, 23, Peter turns to, uh, Jesus turns to Peter and says, Get away from me, Satan. And when God is dealing with the prince and the king of Tyre, he's not dealing with them, he's dealing with, see verse 1, the serpent. Okay, Revelation chapter 12. So you don't think I'm pulling your leg. We're going to look at the scriptures of the King James Bible. And you can't say, well, he's got this harebrained, this wild. No, it's in your Bible. And if you don't have a King James Bible, you may not have what we're reading. And I'm looking for the, all right, Revelation 12, 9. <clears throat> and a great dragon, uh-oh was cast out the old serpent Genesis 3 called the devil and Satan did you get it? you better get it so Ezekiel 28 why don't Christians know this? 
because they don't want to believe the Word of God. They don't even want to read the Word of God. So, verse 13, Thou hast been in Eden, the God and God. That's the old serpent. That's Satan. That's the devil. So, like Peter, God is dressing Satan through Tyre, the king. Every precious stone was thy covering. The sardis, the topaz, the diamond, a girl's best friend. Every Christmas, you get the diamond. When I was in the hospital, you know, the girl's best friend, buy her a diamond. The barrel, the onyx, the jasper, that's Casper's cousin. The sapphire, the emerald. Off to the Emerald City, Dorothy, you go. Carbuncle and go. <laughs> Follow the yellow big road. <laughs> you notice there's no silver. All right, let's stop right there. Let's stop right there. I have to find what I'm looking for. Exodus 28. Do you know that Satan is a counterfeit? I hope you know that. Exodus 28, 15. Everything of God, Satan has an imitation. God has music. Satan has music. God has angels. Satan has angels. God has a city. Satan has a city. God has preachers and, and, and ministers. Satan has preachers and ministers. God has where Christians meet to worship. Satan has places where they worship. So watch this. Verse 15, chapter 28, uh, Exodus. Thou shalt make a breastplate of judgment with cunning work. After the work of the ephod, thou shalt make it gold, blue, purple, scarlet, fine twine linen, thou shalt make. Now this is for the high priest. Four squares shall it be doubled. A span shall be the length thereof, and a span shall be the length thereof. And thou shalt set it in settings of stones, even four rows of stones. The first row, sardis, topaz, carbuncle. This is the first row. The second row shall be emerald, sapphire, diamond. Does this sound familiar? The third row, a, a ligure, a agate, emerald. And the fourth, a barrel, an onyx, and jasper. And the stones will be set with the names of the children of Israel, verse 21. If there's one thing we know about God, God is a very colorful God. God loves color. And when you look at these, these gems and these stones in a rock gemology and see what the various colors they are, it's remarkable. Revelation. And I think, I didn't write down the chapter, so Revelation uh, 21, Revelation 21, 19. See, everything has a purpose, and if you mess with the Bible, you mess with adding and subtracting, you're going to lose the foothold of cross-references. So, Revelation 21, 19, the foundations, this is New Jerusalem. And the city, it says the wall is Jasper, verse 18. And the city is pure gold. 19, the foundation of the wall of the city was garnished. That means decorated. With all manner of precious stones, the first foundation was Jasper. Second, Sapphire. The third, Kaloxlidon. Fourth, an emerald. There's an emerald. The fifth sardex, six, the sixth sardius, the seventh chrysolite, the eighth barrel, the ninth topaz, the tenth chrysophysis, the eleventh jasmine, the twelfth amherst. The twelve gates were twelve pearls. I guarantee if you were to look at the birthstones of the Gentiles, it don't match the high priest of the Jewish. It does not match the city of New Jerusalem. And yet there's 12 and 12. And when we come back to Ezekiel 28, 
Satan, well, this is Lucifer right now. Lucifer. We're talking about Lucifer before he became Satan. Verse 13. If you would see Lucifer before his fallen state, he is a gemful color in which God will have the high priest of the same colors and New Jerusalem. And they ain't all. He says, The workmanship of thy tablets and of thy pipes, musical instruments. Lucifer was a one-man band. And if there was any music to be played in heaven, it came from Lucifer. The very first choir director. And all my years of being saved since 1987, of all the churches I've been in, and all the churches I've heard of, and all the works of the ministry I've heard of, there has been one particular office that causes trouble in the church, and that's the music director, the choir director, or the song leader. And one of the biggest things today in the church is the problem is the music. And Barry Manuel, I think Barry Manuel, I think it's Neil Diamond, one of them said, comes up with the song and you read the lyrics, lyrics, it's almost like Satan. I write the songs that make the young people cry. I am music. Get yourself the lyrics of I write the song and, and listen to them thinking about Lucifer. And you got, I, I, I post every once in a while on my Facebook. I'm not saying he wrote, but <laughs> anything like that, I believe Satan writes it. The fallen Lucifer. Now watch this. Was prepared in the day that thou was created. Lucifer is not a forever being. Lucifer was created by God. He said, well, did, why did God create Lucifer if he knew there was going to be a fall? And uh, That's not the question. The question is what you're going to do with Jesus Christ and then what you're going to do once you receive Jesus Christ. That's the question. I mean, if you're driving down the road and a guy hits you after, after you've been drinking all night, well, why did he drink all night and get behind the wheel of the car? Okay, but that's not a question that's going to help you. That's not a question that's going to solve the rest of your life. When a baby is born addicted to drugs, well, why did the mother do them? Well, that's, that's not the point no more. What's she going to do now? But we need to realize, and we work this chapter slowly, Lucifer, we're Lucifer right now was a created, God was never created. There was a point that God was ever a point. <laughs> God made the point. And God sitting in His holiness and Jesus Christ in the Holy Spirit. Son, yeah. Let's create some angels. Okay. Let's have a glorious creation of angels. Wow. Let's make five beings. A lion, a man, an eagle, an ox, and a dinosaur or serpent or a dragon. Okay. You see, everything that's in heaven now was created by the all-eternal God. That was never created. And the Jehovah Witnesses will say Jesus was created like Michael was created. No, Jesus was never created. Jesus... God has always been. But Lucifer has not always been, and yet Lucifer is an eternal being. He will spend the rest of his eternity in the lake of fire. Okay. Thou art the anointed cherubim that covereth. Do you know what anointed means? Anointed means Christ. Jesus Christ means Jehovah saves that is God's anointed. 
So on the very foundation of Lucifer, the anointed cherub would become the Antichrist. Christ being anointed. This cherubim, because you don't hear about the other cherubim being anointed. They may have, I don't know. But this cherub, this one is the holy cherubim of heaven. That covers, covers what? All the stones and all the pipes. When you read about the beast and you read about the, uh, uh, the creatures, Ezekiel's creatures and John's beasts, they have wings, they have eyes, but they don't have gold and silver and jasper and all that. Out the anointed cherub that comes, I set thee so. God put him. Lucifer. Thou was upon the holy mountain of God. We read that in Isaiah 14 last night. Thou's walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. I don't know what the stones of fire are, but you know what the imitation of that is today? Fire walkers. Fire walkers are the imitation of Lucifer. But walked up and down in the midst. All right? Job chapter 1. Look at the scripture. Job chapter 1, verse 7. Job 1, 7. The Lord said unto Satan. We got our characters. Beyond the shadow of a death. Whence comest thou? And Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth, walking up and down it. Cross reference, Ezekiel. Job chapter 2, verse number 2. And the Lord said unto Satan, Whence comest thou? And Satan answered the Lord and said, Going to and fro in the earth, and from walking up and down in it. Ezekiel. Ezekiel 28, 14. Thou hast walked up and down in Job chapter 1. Job chapter, You know, Job is the very first book. Job is the very first chronological order besides Isaiah 14. Lucifer, who walked up and down in heaven, is walking up and down in the earth. Interesting. Thou wast perfect. Lucifer was perfect in thy ways from the day that thou was created till iniquity was found in thee. By the multitude. Of thy merchandise, I would be tired, all the goods we read about, they have filled the midst of thee with violence. Violence comes from the devil, from Lucifer, Satan. Thou hast sinned. Therefore will I cast thee as profane out of the mountain of God. Isaiah 14. See, this is scripture. This is what's missing in Sunday schools today. Isaiah 14, 12. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of morning? How art thou cut to the ground, which did weaken the nation? There it is. There it is. Ezekiel. Scripture with scripture. Not that hard. I will destroy thee. Lake of fire that burns forever. Look. 
I, that will cast thee out from the mountain of God, colon. I will destroy thee. You know how many years that colon is? <laughs> and it hasn't even come to be yet. It will. <laughs> we still got at least a thousand seven years, at least. <laughs> If the rapture would happen tonight, about a thousand seven years, still, those periods, those commas, don't, don't mess them. But they could be a, quite a bit of years. You know, the Bible would say, "And she conceived, comma, and bared a child." Uh, she didn't get fertilized by her husband, and then boom, out popped a baby <laughs> at nine months. Old covering cherub. You can read about Ezekiel 1 and Revelation chapter 4 about the cherub and the beast. And he's covered with the stones. From the midst of the stones of fire. I don't know what those stones of fire are in heaven. But I know the invitation is fire walkers. Thy heart was lifted up, pride, because of thy beauty. You would find the picture of Lucifer on the cover of magazines more than you would find the picture of Jesus Christ. Isaiah 53. You gotta keep going back and forth. You can't keep up. Write them down. Isaiah 53 1. This is all scripture. I don't want you to think that Stalin is throwing this out there and he's got some weird dialogue and some weird. I want you to know it comes from the Bible. And what you may think is weird is God in his word. Who has believed our report? I have. Many do not. To whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? For he, now this is all about Jesus Christ. For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant, as a root of uh, dry ground. He has no form or comeliness. And when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. Ezekiel. Unsaved man had no beauty for Jesus Christ. Verse 17, the heart is lifted up because of thy beauty. The world would love the beautifulness of Lucifer. Now, he's not Lucifer no more. He does not look like who he was as Lucifer. He's a dragon. He's a serpent. But the world would fall in love. The world loves his music, but they don't love. <laughs> People say, oh, it's Christmas time. And they, they just love the Christmas music and the, Christ, and the Christmas carols and all that. And one verse comes to mind about it. Marvel not, the world hates you. I'm going to tell you a 99% chance if the world loves what you're pro promoting as Christianity, it may not be Christianity. We, we, uh, we sang in church today a song, Go tell it upon the mountain that Jesus was born. No, the scripture says go tell it upon the mountain, go preach the gospel. And the gospel is the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus. We're not told to go preach the birth of Jesus. Nowhere. O little town of Bethlehem, written by a Roman Catholic priest. I do not honor a city on earth, but my Savior Jesus who died on the cross. I'm not worried about Bethlehem. I don't care about Bethlehem. I care about my Lord Jesus Christ. Up from the grave he arose. That's what's important. 
You find me in the book of Acts. You find me in the Pauline epistles. You find me in the book of Hebrews. You find me Peter. You find me James. You find me uh, 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 Jude. You find me Matthew, Mark, and Luke, and John, where it says, go proclaim the birth of Jesus. There's only one proclamation made about the birth of Jesus. That's the angels that said to the serpents, and that was it. Simeon waited for the Messiah, for the anointed one. The Messiah was brought to him by Mary and Joseph. Simeon didn't go to the Messiah. Go in all the world, Jesus says, and preach the gospel. The gospel is the good news that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scripture. I don't see how I got on that one. Thou has corrupted. If your battery has been corrupted in your car, it ain't going to start. you got a lot of cleaning. But you can't clean the devil. Now let me tell you something. When I first got saved in 1987 and I picked up the Bible... Me, I always read the end of the book first. I read Revelation first. You know, when I got to the near of the book of Revelation, do you know I was praying to the devil to get saved? I, I am absolutely true. I would say, Satan, do you see what your end is? I just read, this is how much I believe the Bible. You are going to the lake of fire. Why don't, I was preaching to the devil. Why don't you repent and get saved? He can't. Neither can his angels because the angels and the beings created by God in heaven cannot be redeemed. They cannot repent. Thy wisdom, by reason of thy brightness. 2 Corinthians. Come on, another place of scripture? Stop it. My church don't do it like this. I know. That's the problem. And for this, we'll read verse 13. 11, 13. For such are false apostles, deceitful workers, preachers, pastors, and uh, Sunday school teachers. I got one church in mind. Transforming themselves into apostles of Christ. That's a whole religion today. There are There's the Catholic church. There are churches, and then there's the apostolic, I can't say that, but the apostolic church. They say they are apostles. They're liars. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. That's when he fell as Lucifer. So back to Ezekiel 28. When it be reason that brightness... He's an angel of light. Lucifer means Lux, the light bearer. So people say, oh, I was in the hospital bed and I died and I saw this light. You didn't see Jesus, you saw an antichrist. The only way you're going to see Jesus when you die is you're absent from the body and present with the Lord. And you are dead. And you don't come back. Well, I was in the hospital bed and I died and I saw this light. You didn't really die. The classification of what the doctor says is death is not what God says is death. You know, the light at the end of the tunnel, you better turn around and run because it may be a choo-choo train. I will cast thee to the ground, Isaiah 14. I will lay thee before kings. So guess who rules a lot of the, the uh, political governments? I mean, come on, you really tell me Adolf Hitler worked for God? Now, he worked for small G-O-D, the Pope. But he didn't work for capital G-O-D, he worked for Satan. I guarantee President Biden today is working the works of God and Satan to, 
to promote the Antichrist coming. As with Donald Trump, as with uh, Obama, as with the Bushes, as with the Clinton, as Ronald Reagan, and all the presidents have been working in the realms of God and Satan to bring us to the day of the man of sin. Did not one of the things that did not Satan tell Jesus, I will give you all these kingdoms if you fall down and worship me. And Jesus did not rebuke him. Jesus said, well, wait a minute, Satan. Hold on here. Those are mine. Shut your mouth. Liar. John 8, 44. No, Jesus said, and he quoted scripture, say, you know, you're not to tempt the Lord God. Jesus acknowledged that Satan has the power over government. And as egotistic and prideful that Donald Trump is, I guarantee it wasn't God and Jesus Christ. I think President Biden is setting us up for the, for the tribulation period for, for the Antichrist. Thou hast defiled thy sanctuary. Thy sanctuary. By the multitudes of thy iniquity. Satan has sanctuary. You call them churches today. By the iniquity of thy traffic. Therefore will I bring forth a fire from the midst of thee, Babylon, and tires it shall devour thee and I will bring thee to ashes upon the earth in the sight of all them that behold thee all they that know thee among the people shall be astonished at thee thou shalt be a terror oh he's a terrorist and never shall thou be any more in the lake of fire. 